Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I'm your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Pisces in March 2019. Oh, look what fell out. Hold on. Hi, Pisces. <laughs> oh, Knight of Swords in reverse. So some of you might have a little air sign in your life who's kind of causing some br trouble for you. Cars and cars and a little, little poop show. A little poop show. <laughs> uh, someone might be acting a little kind of out of turn, a little immature with you. But that's, you know, just a quick little something. Anyway, hi Pisces. Welcome to your reading for March. Oh boy. Any Yes, for you guys, there is the announcement. Happy birthday to you guys. <laughs> Happy birthday to all the Pisces who are celebrating in March. I hope you guys have fabulous birthdays. Uh, there are some Pisces around me who will be celebrating in March, so... I hope it's a good time because I'm going to be going to their party. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that's your main spread there. Shuffle off camera to sort of save time. What I'll do now is I'll shuffle for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the board, that is when the reading begins. If you've been here before, you know the deal. Look at the description box below if you want to see the timestamp and you want to jump ahead. Click it. Go ahead. I won't be offended and I won't know any difference anyway. <laughs> also down there, you will see the information you need if you want to get a personal reading with me. It's very simple. You follow the steps and we have a reading and it's over. But if you do have questions about a reading beforehand that you want to ask me, feel free to email me at that address as well. No problem. I will answer you post haste. Okay. All right, guys, let's get your outcome for March 2019. All right. Outcome for Pisces in March 2019, please. Pisces, what are you doing? We were we had such an easy pre-shuffle. We had such a good time laying the spread, and now, now you're difficult. Now you're difficult. Am I gonna have to? No, nope, there it goes. I was gonna say, am I gonna have to pick this? No. Bottom of the deck. Overall energy. That's your. That goes there. All right, let's flip these and see what's going on. I'm making a mess of the board as I go. And the last one. Okay. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. Please show me Pisces in March 2019. Please show me where Pisces is in March 2019. Please show me Pisces in March. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Here. Interesting. All right, Pisces coming into March. You come in with the Queen of Swords or as the Queen of Swords, air sign, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, so that could be significant for some of you. You might have an air sign person around you. Uh, but I'm feeling this is, this is mostly you. Is that right? Yeah, this is mostly you, Pisces. You, you're not in the mood. You are not in the mood for the games. Hmm? Uh, you might be a little more serious than you normally are right now, Pisces. You might, you know, be ready to take heads, you know, kick ass and take names kind of energy. Um, but I'm feeling this is more of like, I'm going to be who I am and everybody else who doesn't agree with that, who's not on board with my plan, who's not understanding me, F them. Is kind of what I'm feeling. This is like a FM energy. This is like a screw everybody. I got to look out for number one. And you're not doing it in the vein that a true queen of swords would do it. Like you're doing it the Piscean way. So you might be ghosting people. Okay. If this is about your dating life, you might be leaving people hanging in conversations. If these are people that you know and you love and that are close to you, you might be like, mm, like, quietly excommunicating people, okay? 
Um, but there is this sort of like declaration of here's my, here's what I need. Here's what I want. Here's what I expect. And if people don't agree with me, if people don't adhere to the plan, or if people don't want to support me in my efforts, they can go somewhere. Like they can go to hell basically. Um, but again, you're doing it in a Piscean way where it's not super aggressive. It's not super direct. It's not even confrontational really. Like the confronta the confrontation comes if people ask after you, oh, hey, Pisces, I haven't heard from you in a while. Well, you want to know why, Ted? Because you said this to me in sixth grade and da, 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 da. And Ted's like, what? Who? Huh? And so like, that's where it's coming from. It's like, you're coming from a space of security and self-preservation and, and, and wanting to be your best cheerleader. You know, you're on... You're, cheer, you're cheerleading for yourself and you're assuring your own dominion. You're assuring your own uh, leadership in the situation or, or just like, I feel like this, I am who I am and I'm doing what I'm doing and everybody can leave me alone. It's, it's, it's very defiant, but again, it's kind of soft. It's kind of cute, <sighs> which kind of makes sense. I mean, number one, this is the happy deck. I was led to lead or led to uh, use this deck this month for the readings, I think for a reason, because there has been, you're the last sign I'm doing, obviously Pisces, um, and there have been a lot of other readings where there has been tough energy or very, you know, assertive uh, statements being made, but it kind of comes, most of the time, it's come with like this soft energy, yeah? And being that this is the Happy Tarot deck, this is probably the happiest Queen of Swords I've ever seen. And she's not even like smiling ear to ear. She's like smirking. She's being very like coy, you know, very smarmy with her, with her smirk. So you could be killing them with kindness. Like maybe that's another way that you're doing it. Like some of you might be showing someone up. Like if someone's given you flack, if somebody's been kind of a bitch to you or kind of been, you know, overly aggressive with you you're just like smothering them in syrup and, and, and chocolate. And you're just like making it so they can't do like their words are like sort of, you know, I'm rubber, you're glued. Like it's kind of that energy. Um, I like this for you because I feel that you, you need it right now. You know, Pisces, you're, you're a dreamer. You're ruled by Neptune. You're always, you know, sort of out to lunch or daydreaming and, and kind of, you have a, you've got a foot in this reality and you've got another foot in whatever reality is, you know, striking your fancy at the moment. And what I feel is you need to have like a boot, like a steel toe boot down in this 3D reality on earth. And I think this card is giving you that ability to, to stick the boot in and, and, and to be firmly placed here in some form or fashion, in some uh, aspect or area of your life. Okay. Now, Let's go. What else is going on with you guys? So you're feeling good. You're feeling either you feel like a boss or you're feeling bossy. You're feeling this this desire to take control. And I think it's because like you just feel that's what you have to do. You're being led by some unknown source yeah high priestess above you so your better nature is how they want me to say this your better nature is telling you to get bossy to be more assertive to be more firm and in some cases put on you know the nastiest version or the most confrontational voice you can when you get on phone get on the phone uh, with customer service. Like some of you are just like acting your quote unquote, your baddest or your badass as badass as you can be. And you're being guided to do so by this high priestess energy. Your high priestess energy, uh, represents your intuition. Yeah. It represents the things that you inherently know, but you don't always understand, or it doesn't come clearly to you. It's not, there's always a veil. There's always some partition between what the high priestess knows and what you or what we here on earth are allowed to know. Yeah. So you're guided to do what you're doing. You're guided to say what you, what you are saying. You're guided. And again, I think I said it here. I don't know if I use the word, but I'm feeling there's a protection here. So 
if you have to be more aggressive and people don't like it and people want to step off from you or say, oh, well, Pisces never has never spoken to me like that. I'm not going to be spoken to like that. Forget it. And then that person leaves your life or it changes the dynamic in your relationship. And maybe it's uncomfortable at first. Maybe it feels like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, you should have said that because she told you to say it. You know, and that's not an excuse. It's really you were guided to like even in the moment, some of you as the words coming out of your mouth. You know what, Deborah? Go to hell. You never would have said that to Deborah a moment before in your life. But in that moment, you felt you felt compelled to tell her where to go. This, again, is guiding you. You had to draw that line between you and this person or you had to make that statement to that person. You had to declare something about yourself, something about your circumstances so that people would either start to respect you you know, they would leave your life so that you could be done with them. Something like that. It is for your greatest good. It is for your highest good because she's behind it. Now, when I say she, I don't mean literally there is some woman up in the clouds, up in the ether, you know, holding a book, holding, in this case, a scroll with all that. No, what I mean is you, your higher self, your own guides, your own angels, whoever you believe or don't believe looks out for you. In most cases, I interpret it as the self, a higher version of the self that exists in a dimension or in some parallel that is, again, behind a veil. Like it's there, we can get, we can know that it's there, but we don't know exactly what goes on beyond the, beyond that partition. Yeah. So in your case, Pisces, I think, again, you are listening to your instinct. You know, maybe that's the way that your higher self or the high priestess communicates with us. She pokes a stick at our gut and says, say it, say it right now, S tell her, tell her where to go, and then you say it, and then it's over with, and you're like, oh man, I shouldn't have said that, but she's like, you did what you had to do, you did the right thing, okay, now, doing this, being affirmed in your, in your words, being precise, exacting, maybe even a little biting, a little Pisces biting, a little num num from a Pisces, yeah, it's setting you up for something, going to be different for everybody but it's a chance you got two chances there you're having sort of a reverse uh, uh linear reading yeah yes okay thank you and i don't normally do linear readings but i just did aquarius and, and they had a li linear but going the other way and i'm making a big deal out of the linear thing because i just don't resonate with that i know other readers do and that works for them but i try it's not that I try, it's just like linear isn't always what speaks to me. And, but for some reason they want me to tell you, they want me to explain myself to you. And I'm like, okay. <sighs> so linearly you're kind of traveling, maybe that's it. You're traveling backwards. Maybe that's why they want me to make a big deal out of it to you. Because if we think of linear, especially from, uh, from the West, left to right, this time it's right to left. So there might be this idea of having to circle back to something or maybe you're getting back to a certain way of behaving or a different way of being, something like that. And that kind of, that might make sense now that I'm, okay, fine. Thank you, you guys clar you clarified yourselves to me. Ugh. Anyway, so moving in a certain direction, which is a risk, fool card, right? So that's what he does. He takes the risk, he takes the, the leap of faith, and he goes on a journey, he goes on a quest. Well, not even a quest, it's, it's a journey because he's not really seeking anything. He's just like, I'm going just to go, just to do it, just to have a, just to have for a lull, just for kicks, yeah? Um, and there's this idea of throwing caution to the wind. So that might be sort of like what they're wanting me to express with the linear movement is like, especially since I made a big deal about left to right, you know, it would be odd and I've, I've read like poems and stuff, or I've looked in certain books where it's written in English, but the, the, you read it from right to left and it's disorienting. So maybe that's what's going on with some of you. You're moving in a different way through your life and it's disorienting. You've never done this before. You've never behaved this way before. You've never spoken this way to people before. You've never uh, treated yourself this way, something like that. Um, and it's brand spanking new, you know, the fool, he's the first card in the, uh, in the tarot deck. Yeah. Or excuse me, he's the first card in the, uh, major commas. But yeah, 
where you might sometimes waver or or feel cautious feel a little bit of a pause like a like that 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 second before you jump off of the diving board there's like that hint or that that not even hint like a sharp stab of panic i feel many of you are not feeling that and you're waiting for to feel that wait i'm i'm going and i feel okay with it i'm moving past this threshold and i don't feel anxious at all interesting and you're kind of like oh oh i just did that and i didn't feel you know self-conscious about it wow you know so there's like this embracing of a new normal or this embracing of like a new experience and a new reaction to things that you've not you've not ever had a hand on before or, or you didn't think was possible and so that's really pretty i like that for you jumping jumping off the diving board jumping off that cliff you know ankles be damned i could i could break my ankle today but hey it'll be okay but i'm really liking like this idea of the pause is gone the 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 onset of a panic attack is dissipated is like skipped over you know that's nice now some of you are moving towards a person or a chance okay now some are moving towards a person king of pentacles could be an earth sign uh taurus virgo or capricorn but they don't have to be but whoever you're moving towards is really regal not just because it's the king but really regal in the sense of like they're really sharp like i feel that they have a certain aesthetic now pisces you guys run the gamut on aesthetics you guys don't think like traditional kings and queens when i say this person is regal and they have an aesthetic whatever you think is fly whatever you think looks amazing whatever you think is a, is visually appealing that person will check will check that box okay so if you're into let's say you're into i don't even think that's i don't even know what you call it these days but let's say you were into the goth scene quote unquote goth right whatever that looks like these days this person they're in there. They're in there deep. Or let's say you're into Chicano, Chicano fashion, something like that. This person lives and breathes Chicano fashion. Okay. Uh, and that's also important. It's not just about fashion. It's not just about scenes or clicks or anything like that, but it is about this person has a certain presentation to them. They have a certain way of presenting themselves where they look the part or they act the part or they, especially looking the part, or at least participating in the look or participate something about that you can clop your eyes on them and you recognize them okay you recognize like what kind of person they are and it's not coming from a materialistic way or a vain way or or a conceited way i just think that there's a strong identity with this person and you can see it coming you can see this person coming and you can read what type of person they are now um and again, it doesn't have to be an earth sign energy, but they, for some of them, they might be accomplished in the ways of the pentacles. So they might have a little bit of money. Some of them, not all of them. Uh, but there is a security with them. Even if they don't have a pot to piss in, even if they don't have two nickels to rub together, they are firm. Secure in themselves, secure in their situation or their stability, yeah? So... They might, you know, mm. yeah, I'm, I mean, if it's not actual money, if it's not like actual wealth, they have a wealth in their person. However, that resonates to you, whatever that might mean to you, they just have a wealth of person or personality and it's stunning to you. Pisces, you love to be stunned. You always like to look at some, oh, who that? Ooh, who's that? Oh, who that? That, what is that dog doing? It's not my dog, but I hear the neighbor's dog outside. Oh my God. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> you are easily Pisces in awe of others. And I feel that this person, for those who you're moving towards a person or you're going to be introduced to a person or you're just going to happen, happen into a meeting with this person you're just be like oh my god they're amazing 
romantically, business partner, friendship, whatever. I don't care what kind of relationship it is. Um, but the effect that this person has on you or the, I think their purpose in, in coming into your life is to, in some ways, mimic what you want. If you want to be more a part of a certain culture or a part of a certain fashion scene or you want certain abundance in your life, whether that's actual wealth or wealth of self, wealth of person, this person might be a mentor to you, might be someone that you could look up to or someone that you can partner with and learn from. In other cases, it could mean a romantic partnership and in many times romantic relationships, you do learn from your partner, other partners, or excuse me, a lot of relationships, one partner supports the other. So this person would be open to that. Not initially i'm gonna say that not initially it's not like they're swooping in and saying hey pisces you look like you could use some help let me let me help it that's not their inclination their inclination is to be sought after so if you want them you have to say hey i would like to get to know you or hey do you think that we could work on this or hey i see that you're into that and you might know these people i have an idea for this you know you have to come with a proposal to him the king of pentacles does not have to be a male um just is not seeking out the connections. He's sitting on that throne, eyes closed, very contented. He, he doesn't need anything else. So whatever comes to him or whoever comes to him, he receives it. He doesn't seek it out, okay? So you approach them, you say, hey, let's become friends, let's become lovers, let's become partners, let's become whatever. And I feel for the most part, this person would be receptive to you. But again, not initially. Don't go in there like an eager beaver, starving Marvin, desperate, desperate, desperate Debbie, okay? Don't do that. Play the long game. Play it cool. Maybe get a little witty here with the Queen of Swords backing you up. And you're going to see that person open up to you. Or you're going to see that person very easily, I feel, offer to help you or offer to support you or offer to you know, give you guidance or give you advice or give you a loan if it's literally money that you need or literally money that would help you. They might, you know, have so much as like, oh, you need $100? Cool. I got you. Well, I mean, I kind of need 300 Yeah, sure. No problem. Boom. And that's it. And that might be a one and done in certain situations. Like this person, you just happen to meet them like hanging out at a casino over the weekend and there's this high roller and you guys like just, just you know, start up a rapport at the bar or at the craps table or something like that and they're just like oh what's going on what do you need in your life and you're like oh, i could use a thousand bucks oh here you go and then they leave town and you never know who that person is it could be something so serendipitous like that for others of you it's not a person it's an opportunity with the ace of pentacles so aces are the chances the opportunities the potentialities right and in terms of pentacles we're talking about things that again relate to the earth signs taurus uh taurus virgo capricorn uh, so that can mean money and resources, but I'm feeling for you, Pisces, it's a certain type of investment. It, and for some of you in your health, okay, so this person, or excuse me, not this person, but this opportunity is a chance for you to reinvent yourself from a health perspective, your wellness, okay? So it would be maybe with the fool, you're moving to a place you're getting into a new situation. Maybe some of you are starting up a certain physical exercise or a certain diet, something like that. And it's a chance for you to change who you are physically inside and out. Yeah. But you have to feed into this, you know, the opportunity is there. You have to grab it and then you have to nurture it. That's the other thing that we get when we talk about pentacles, right? That, that cultivation that the earth signs are all good at is taking something, giving it plenty of sunshine, giving it water, changing the soil, and making it grow like you would a, a plant or some crops. It's like doct doctored? Sure, doctored, but like really tended to, like proper farming is what I'm getting. So it could be for some of you that meeting the person is the opportunity. That could be the link. But I feel that for most, it's going to be some meet a person and that person becomes like your guide, your mentor and others. It's this new behavior, a new way of investing in yourself or a certain opportunity. Like I said, in terms of health and wellness, maybe someone just suggests to you, hey, 
you know, there's this thing I saw on Groupon for discounted kickboxing lessons. Do you want to go with me? And you're like, oh, okay. And then you go. And then within two years, you're like amateur MMA fighting in, you know, you've lost like half of your body weight and fat or something. You know what I mean? Like you just don't know until you go and experience that one off chance thing that you kind of were just like, uh, I don't know. Because that's also what the fool is doing. He's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to go for it. I'll try it. I Can I approach this person? They seem out of my league. They seem like this, you know, crazy, high rolling, high profile person sitting at the craps table. But let me go, you know, introduce myself. Hi, my name is Pisces. Who are you? Oh, I'm King of Pentacles. And here's that. You know what I mean? That that fool card is really you're unbridling yourself. You're freeing yourself from something that before you would have never have done. You may have been more reserved. You may have, you know, talked yourself out of approaching a stranger or taking a kick, kickboxing class or whatever we're talking about here. The fool doesn't do that. He doesn't second guess himself. He doesn't talk himself out of anything. He just goes for it. Yeah. So a lot of progression for you, a lot of you know, starting from a firm base of here's the new Pisces, new rules, new Pisces, new everything. And then you're building out of that and you're blossoming into something. And that's great. Now, what I think you're blossoming into, which has come up for a few signs, uh, is kind of like the golden chalice. Although in this case, I guess there would be 10 of them is the 10 of cups. Yeah. So this opportunity, this king of pentacles, they might make up somehow encompass or 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 populate your ten of cups happily ever after yeah happily ever after the mom the dad the kids it's a beautiful spring day or summer day out in the park out in the fields there it's glorious so for some of you that's in the cards but um i hate when i say that but you know <laughs> but in some of your cases, that's something that's coming up for you or something that's crucial to you right now, that's pivotal to you right now. What does this look like? My happy home life. Yeah? What's going to make that up? Is it the King of Pentacles? Maybe you're already married or, or committed to the King of Pentacles and this is some type of reinvestment or reintroduction to your partner. Yeah? <sighs> I think the aspect of this that's most important to you right now, Pisces, is the love. The love is the most important aspect. Or knowing that the love exists beyond the physical world. You know, pentacles are physical. They're, they're the things that we can touch, taste, smell, and all that kind of stuff. You interact with your senses. So everything in the world, right? So beyond what you can perceive through your human senses, you want to feel that love. That happiness, that contentment, that that just basking in the glow of joy. Some of you have tasted this before or you know it's close by. It's just you may have been blocked from it previously. You may have underappreciated it or not recognized it for those who have had it before or you kind of know who or what this Ten of Pentacles consists of, yeah? For others, you haven't had it before. And I think you still think it's a pipe dream or you think it's like so far off, but I'm telling you, especially because this is Pentacles, if you take practical steps towards something or you seize an opportunity or you invest properly with your resources, it will come to you. Now, the other thing that has been going on with these Ten of, Pen or Ten of uh, Cups and also the Ten of Pentacles, because that also came up for several people uh, in March, is that a lot of people, or at least I am, because of the time period that I'm doing these readings, it's not clear what this... It, the, the, the picture is not super clear. As I can hold this card up to the camera and you can see it, you can see the colors, you can see the characters, that's very clear cut. But in your life, in your reality, it might not be so clear cut. You might not be able to discern or or even in some cases decide what my Ten of Cups will look like. Who's going to be with me? What is the environment I'm going to be uh, see myself in? Things like that. Um, so there is this idea of being open to interpretation. But what I'm feeling is you need to 
or one of your concerns right now, Pisces, is to make those practical steps towards it. So you might not know how many people are going to be in your Ten of Cups. So there are four here. Maybe in yours there will be six. Who knows? Um, but what you do know is, okay, I want my landscape to be a city. So instead of this, you know, lush, you know, field that these people are in, you're changing your environment to a city. So that's the first step that you need to make. So if you live in a rural area or you live 10 miles outside of the city of your of your desire, let's say you want to live in New York City, but you live in North New Jersey, which a lot of times they say is the same thing. But and I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but anyway, so let's say that is your goal or let's say that is what you believe your Ten of Cups would 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 um, where your Ten of Cups would be in New York City in the city limits. So I need to move to New York. Now, part of the draw in living in North New Jersey is that it's not as expensive as New York City. So you need to take practical steps to get your money up. Or you need to come into contact with people who can help you get your money up. Either way, that's the first step to getting that Ten of, ten of Cups. So for others of you, it's going to be something different. Maybe you love the field. You want less people. Maybe you just want two people. So the partner that you're with now, and I'm not saying this is not advice, but maybe this is this is something you have to do. The partner that you're with now is like, I want five kids. And you're like, I want zero kids. You know, that's a discrepancy. And you would need to make practical decisions to move towards either somebody who agrees with you. Yeah, kids are for the birds. Nobody wants kids. Or... You know what I mean? Certain things have to come into play in order for you to start setting that foundation for this Ten of Pentacles. It's a ways off. A couple months, a couple years, I don't know. You're all different. You'll all come into it when, you, when you're meant to come into it. But it all starts back with being affirmed in who you are and listening to your instincts and not being afraid to take those chances, okay? Now, your outcome for March. Mm, maybe not so nice. <laughs> is the six of swords um but actually maybe actually kind of nice i don't know why i said not so nice May maybe because of the color scheme it's not the best maybe some of you are like ew that looks gross <laughs> but actually the energy of the six of six of swords is about progress it's about moving forward it's about getting away from the crap that doesn't serve you getting away from people in circumstances that don't uh, have your best interest at heart are not here to support you and moving towards stuff and places and people that do support you that do want to see Pisces happy that do want to see Pisces goals uh, come into fruition yeah now you're probably guiding yourself here no, not guiding yourself but you're probably steering this boat yeah I feel you're taking a much more proactive stance on things or, or proactive stance, but you're taking a more proactive uh, actions, okay? You're, you're actually walking the walk and talking the talk, okay? You're not just sitting there twiddling your thumbs, daydreaming about all the things you could be doing. You're actually going to go do those freaking things, which is great. Um, I feel some people will feel left behind in some of your lives or feel cut out. But we talked about that earlier. If you had to tell Deborah, Ted, Miriam, Alexander, whoever, go to hell, and they feel, oh, Pisces, how, where are you going? How could you do this to me? So what? So what? Let them go. Let them be left on the shore. Let them be left in drama land where you don't want to live anymore. Let them be left in North New Jersey where you don't want to live anymore. But New York is so expensive. How could you move away? We're best friends. Shut up. I'm going. You know, so there might be a little bit of a pulling on your heartstrings there for a moment, Pisces, where you don't like to cut people out, especially if you care about them. If, if it's people you don't care about, Pisces, you, you, will, you will drop a deuce on anybody you don't care about. But if you actually care about them, you have you have relationships with people, you have rapport with people, you might feel a little guilty about taking care of yourself and taking all your stuff and, and moving on to, to something better. But I'm going to let you know, relax. Tammy or whoever you're leaving behind, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And if they're not fine, that's their problem, okay? <sighs> Anything else? I, I put that down. 
in some cases, some of you might have kids that you're taking with you. You know, this might be a slow dissolve or a finalization of a breakup, but I'm not sensing that for many of you. This might be just this determined energy to make it as a single parent. You know, whether the other parent is present in the kid's life is, is up for debate. But some of you are just like taking care of your own, taking care of your kid, looking out for their best interest, which would make sense with that Ten of Cups there, you know? All right. Overall energy. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Why am I sending to you? I send to you guys more, more than any other sign. I don't know why. Uh, seven of Pentacles. So... For some of you, the word they want me to say is delay. You feel delayed or you, you're waylaid, you're, you're, you're distracted or you're not ready. Okay, that's for some of you. For the most part though, I feel most of you have your eye on the ball, have your eye on, on, on what matters most, yeah? And you're going to act, not act, but you're going to know, or you do know already, what you need to see coming down the line, what you need to see start to take shape around you. And at that moment, all bets are off, all the gloves come off, and you go out there and you get what you need. Because Seven of Pentacles is about, I've planted my, my seeds, and I'm just waiting to harvest. It's not the easiest to see in this depiction but that's what that guy on that path is doing look at him look at my look at what i planted it's growing up to be so full so vibrant so ripe now i just need to reach out and 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 pluck the fruit but there is still a bit of a wait there's still a little bit of time that needs to pass before he can actually do that so for some of you like i said this is like a delay or you feel as if you're like you know, still circling the situation, running on this hamster wheel. And that might be a little frustrating for you. That might be a little disheartening to you. But as an overall energy, I feel that when you know, you'll know. I don't know. Listen to her. Okay, listen to your high priestess energy. But when you know, you'll know. And I want you to snatch it. As soon as you know, snatch it up. Okay. All right, Pisces, that is your reading for March 2019. Did you like it? <laughs> if you did, there's a like button down below. Go ahead and hit it. Uh, it lets me and YouTube know that you enjoyed the reading and that you appreciate what, I, what I'm creating here. Also down there, you'll see the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you think you want to be, hit that. Also hit the notification bell and then you're going to see when I uh, upload future content for you guys. Uh, obviously I just did your birthday reading, uh, so if you want to check that out and you haven't checked it out, there's a birthday forecast, uh, that I did about two or three weeks ago, uh, if you haven't seen that, and yeah, what else can you do? Oh yeah, you can comment on the video, I almost forgot, <laughs> you can comment on the video, please let me know how this resonates with you, what you connected with in the reading, I would love to hear it, it gives me affirmation, it lets me know that I'm doing a good job around here, so it's well appreciated, and also you can hit the share button if you want to share this across your social media platforms. If you've got a YouTube channel or and you want other people to know, hey, this is a tarot reader that I like, you should check her out, that would be amazing. If you don't want to do any of those things, I respect you just the same and I love you just the same. Uh, guys, I will be back in about three weeks time when I bring you your April 2019 readings. Until then, Pisces, I thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. Bye.